CDE automatically packages all the dependencies required to run your Linux programs on other machines without any installation. To demonstrate, I've created two VMs. The first is an Ubuntu distro from 2010, and the second is an older Nopix distro from 2006. So let's say I'm a scientist working on Ubuntu, and I've written a script to process some data. So let's say this London data set represents climate change data. So to run this script, I simply invoke Python, and it will process the data set and create this interactive visualization. So I can use this to explore and refine my hypotheses. So let's say I want my colleague to also be able to run my same script so she can reproduce my results and extend them. It seems pretty easy, right? Because after all, there are only two files, a script and a data set. I can simply send my colleague these files, and since she has Python on her machine, she should just be able to run my exact same script. But what happens when she tries to run it? There's some import error. So in this case, the NumPy numerical Python extension module was not installed yet on her machine. And there are a bunch of other dependencies that she needs in order to run this seemingly simple script. So uh, unless she can install and uh, configure all these dependencies, she won't be able to run my script. So to alleviate this pain, let's try to use CDE. So when I run my exact same script now, prepend it with a CDE executable, CDE will actually grab all those dependencies that my script requires so that it can run on another machine without installation. So my, my program pops up as normal, and CDE creates the CDE package subdirectory, which contains, inside of it, all the libraries, configuration files, and other Python scripts that my script required in order to do the numerical analysis and graphing. And since this package is simply a subdirectory, I can zip it up and send it to my colleague's machine. So on the other end, once my colleague has unzipped the package, she can simply CD into the directory within the package where I originally ran my experiments and see my uh, same script and data set. So note that the current directory she's in is within the package and within this my home directory and um, Python science demo directory inside of there. So on my original computer, uh, I am in this experimental directory, and I can invoke my script using regular Python, like so. So recall again that on her machine, since she has Python installed, she, it seems like she can just run Python, right? But it doesn't work because her version of Python does not have the extension modules installed. But instead, what she could run is that she can run the special python.cde wrapper that actually wraps around the version of Python included in the package, which does have the extension modules installed. And when she runs that, she can reproduce my exact same script invocation and uh, see the exact visualization that I saw on my own machine. So note that she didn't have to install any extension modules for this to work. So this uh, is not simply a canned demo or replay of my original execution. She can actually modify the script and rerun it. So let's say that she's not happy about the fact that the y-axis is uh, between negative 0.5 and 1.5. Let's say she wants to zoom in tighter so that the y-axis is between 0 and 1. So she can modify the script and rerun it. And when she reruns it, now the y-axis is much tighter between 0 and 1. So see, on my original execution, the y-axis is between negative 0.5 and 1.5. So in sum, CD allows you to package up your Linux program so that other people can run it on their machines without any installation. And not only that, they can modify your scripts and programs to a certain extent and rerun them. 